Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and once again, I'm bringing you a Walking Dead character bio. And today we're talking about Ten. That's right. Ten, the twin's brother. Adopted, I'm assuming. He's actually the first kid from the school that we meet, because he's the one who had to take care of Clem. At first you may think Ten's going to be this shy boy who doesn't really speak, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Ten is very conversive with Clem and AJ, especially as AJ feels him to be his first real friend. He's also an artist, and what I really liked about his character that it was pretty original. What I mean by that is it wasn't a hash of someone else from a past season or from the comics or from the TV series or whatnot. He was a pretty original character because he actually had this optimistic view of how things could turn out. And to have that this late into the outbreak was actually amazing. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers. Now, we don't know why Ten was sent to this school, but based on his burn and the fact that the twins are his sisters, probably adopted, it may appear that he suffered abuse from a child, early childhood. In fact, maybe him and his sisters weren't sent there because they actually did bad things. Maybe they were sent there because they had abusive parents and maybe, I don't know, child services just had to send them there temporarily, but then the outbreak happened. So what is Ten's main attribute? Well, Ten actually has kind of two. It's both his optimism, even though he kind of loses that later in episode four if he survives, and his calm demeanor. Ten will approach you with, like, the gravest news and will tell you in the most calm way. I'm not saying that Ten doesn't have strong emotions, because it's clear in certain scenes he does, such as with Lily and with his sister. But Ten doesn't seem to show emotion a lot. Even when Minnie death is reported to him, he's just like, So, she'll go to the next place with Sophie. They can be together. That's good. Which kind of made me not like episode four because episode four, when he freaks out about Minnie dying and doesn't want to jump over the bridge, it just doesn't make much sense for his character as a whole. I understand he cares about his sister, but he's already accepted her death. Clan has told him Minnie's dead. He's accepted it. So when Minnie shows up and she's dying, it doesn't make sense that Clem is going to freak out. Oh, I can't leave her. I can't leave her now. That just seemed like, because they were kind of rushing, it seems like, with that ending, that they just wanted to create drama, and it didn't make much sense. I understand also that they just wanted the whole AJ decision in the cave to matter, but that wasn't the way to go about it, in my opinion. Other than that, though, Ten was a pretty good character who seemed to suffer from their only being epi four episodes in this. Once again, I think Ten would have been better had they actually gone to the Delta. I am sorry, but the, not going to the Delta actually affected a lot more of these characters, in my opinion, because had they gone to the Delta, it would have been cool, I think, seeing Ten's whole calm demeanor, maybe while following orders and whatnot. I would think it would be cool, especially with Minnie, if Minnie was there, too. I think it would have been good to see those type of interactions. But budget and timing issues aside, Ten was still a very well-done character, and he was one of the few characters that just felt so original in this final season. But what do you guys think about 10? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.